Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm Walt Cameron. And I'm Stephanie Cameron. And we are the publishers of Edible New Mexico Magazine. And welcome to episode one of 2021, which is episode 36 of the 5 Minute Friday. This week, we're receiving the new issue for delivery. We're checking out some goodies from Three Sisters Kitchen and the Kombucha Project. And we're making red chili Swiss chard enchiladas. But first, we're gonna do this. Hey. And welcome to episode one. She's being delivered today. What we do every two months. That's a workout. Here goes another one. Get ready. Are you ready? Walt's got to get his work in, out in somehow. I guess so. Okay, Walt just got his workout for the day. Too slow. It is Too a, slow. It's a new year and a new issue. Ooh. So Growing Justice will start hitting the streets tomorrow. Well, today, because you're watching 5 Minute Friday today. So it is hitting <laughs> stands today and over the weekend. So keep your eyes out for the new issue. All right, new year. New kitchen, what? We got some new paint. <laughs> we painted the kitchen. <laughs> Doesn't it look pretty? <laughs> so if you want to see what the old kitchen looked like, you can go back to our 35 previous episodes <laughs> when it was brown. Now it's white. We like it, it's bright. So happy new year. I guess we have to talk about those new year's resolutions and being healthy. We're on day five of not drinking in the Cameron household. Wow. I don't know about dry January. What do you think, Walt? Should I do dry January? No. <laughs> uh, gotcha. So this is a special product from Kombucha Project. It is sparkling kombucha. So yes, I'm gonna be healthy. I am not breaking my five days of not drinking yet. <laughs> and this is a sparkling white, and they also have a sparkling rosé. And you can get these through New Mexico Harvest. It's a special release, so it'll probably be available a few more weeks and then that'll be it. But cheers to that. Ooh, that's lovely. I like that. It's not vinegary like some kombucha is. It's super smooth, has a little sparkle to it, so that's nice. And then we got gifted some wonderful granola from the Three Sisters Kitchen, so this is a good way to go healthy in the morning. All these, oh, and this is tea, chocolate orange fermented black tea. And so Three Sisters Kitchen in Albuquerque is an incubator kitchen for food startup businesses. And these are a couple of the products coming out of there. And I'm gonna give this Biscuitito orange granola a taste. So that just sounds delicious. They also have green chili apple. Yes, you could eat your Three Sisters Kitchen granola with milk, but I am going to eat mine the way I like to, which is straight out of the bag. <laughs> and it's delicious. You can also get this through New Mexico Harvest. I'm with Three Sisters Kitchen, and I think they're selling at Polk's Folly and some other places. So check out their website, and you can find out where you can get this yummy stuff. Okay, so today, 
Well, for, for New Year's, we're gonna do a little New Year's resolution dish for everybody. And this is something a little healthier. And we're gonna make Swiss chard enchiladas, red chili, Swiss chard and red chili enchiladas. So we have some Swiss chard here. We have red chili, dried red chilies. We're gonna show you how to, how to process those. We have some onion and we have, this is about a medium sized onion and we have some uh, cheese. And we'll also have garlic as well, uh, which I don't have no. prepared yet. So, there's no garlic in the garlic. I've stuff. never garlic done it with garlic. garlic. So it should be garlic. If there's no garlic, I quit. <laughs> All right. We can put some garlic in, but we've never done garlic. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna process our dried chilies and just gonna tear that off, dump that in there, and then I'll just kind of break it and dump all those seeds out. Whoops, get that piece. I'm wearing gloves because these are still pretty spicy and they will burn your hands after a, after a few. This is pretty spicy chili. We have our uh, chili pods prepped. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour in some boiling hot water. We have our nice little tea kettle here. And this will sit for 20 minutes. Next, we are going to prep our Swiss chard. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the leaves like this. Um, put those aside. Now I am gonna be using the stems, so I'm just gonna cut those up just like I would cut up a, uh, cut up a, uh, oh, what am I, what, what am I trying to say? <laughs> huh? Onion? No. <laughs> I'm gonna cut Carrot? these up. Celery? Celery. That's the word. <laughs> cut these up just like I would cut up some celery. And then with this, I'm gonna roll these up and I'm gonna do what's called a chiffonade. So you just kind of roll them up and then we're just gonna cut those into nice little ribbons, just like that, see? And then I'm gonna separate into another bowl. So my chiffonades go in there, my stems go in there, and as you can see, I have a lot to, lot to do. So our chili's been sitting for about 20 minutes in, in hot water. And uh, as you can see, it's starting to re rehydrate. So I think now we can go ahead and add it to our blender. Okay, so we're gonna add this to our blender and we are gonna keep this water. We're gonna add some of that water. We're not gonna add it all. So now what we wanna do is we wanna add some of this water into the chili to help it, help blend it. But we don't, we'll we yeah, we'll add as we go. Oh, and then I'm gonna add in uh, about five cloves of garlic. Right in there, a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna start slow and then I'm gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of uh, canola oil right down here. Oh. Do my onions, put those in. This, the stems of my Swiss chard, they will cook around the same amount of time as the onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in as well. And look at my spoon. Cool. Put in some salt to sweat out all that, sweat out those onions in that chard. Okay, so while we're cooking up our onions in our Shard stems, and we're gonna go ahead and do our tortillas. We're using bueno tortillas, which is based right here in Albuquerque. So we don't really want these to get too cooked, and we just want them warmed up, really. Pliable. Pliable, we want them pliable. These are done. I'm, I kind of looked at my onions, and they're nice and translucent. So now, we're gonna go ahead and add our shard leaves. The, ooh, I think I'm gonna add this in batches. 
a little bit. That's gonna be too much. So we got a lid on this. I'm gonna add a little bit of my chili. Help this uh, wilt. This is this is gonna be dangerous. <laughs> it's not spicy at all. Add some more in. I think what I'll do too is I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, we got some steam building up in there. It's helping to wilt wilt those leaves. Bring it all together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in some more chili. You're not gonna have to use all of this chili, but you can just save whatever you have left over for your uh, for some huevos rancheros or uh, just whatever you do with your red chili. So this is we're just gonna incorporate this all together real quick. This is about ready to go in to the into the layering of our enchiladas. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some cooking spray. Layer down a little bit of chili first. That should be it. And I'm just gonna take this first tortilla and spread it out with the tortilla. Three, four. And cheese. And we'll sprinkle. Staff told me not to do too much, so there we go. Ah! Of course, I'm not gonna do that. Gotta have the cheese, man. Now, one more, another layer. All right, and then I'm just gonna dump the rest of this in. Do another layer of cheese. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little extra red chili. Spread it around. The rest of the cheese. <laughs> there we go. Into the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So there it is, red chili Swiss chard and gelata. Oh yeah. That's it for this week's episode. Be safe and be well and be kind. Mm -hmm.